Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. In this episode of the Chef Knife Makeover series, this is the fourth and final one, sadly, uh, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen your custom chef knife. That being said, you can also learn to sharpen your chef knife, even if it's not custom. No, I'm just saying. This is my chef knife makeover. How to customize the chef knife, new design, new shape, new handle, new edge, and of course, new style. To catch a specific episode, hit the link. Viewer's discretion is advised. In this series, we're using dangerously sharp and stupidly powerful tools. So, would you ever want to use your fingers or your eyes in the future? Wear pr pr protections. Working with a dull knife doesn't seem dangerous, but it is, because you will definitely put much pressure on it, then it will slip and go in right into the opposite hand. Shka! Bad. Six stitches bad. Trust me when I say something. So my custom chef knife, which is beautiful by the way, we made this lovely tattooed blade in the previous episode. It's not dull, but you know, it can be sharpened a bit more. Honing steel. The first method to sharpen a chef knife is to use a honing steel. It's fast, but truth be told, it doesn't actually sharpen your blade. It's more like correcting, in fact. So it's good to improve the edge, but not if you have a dull knife. Sharpening stone. A sharpening stone usually has two sides, a rough one to quickly smooth it down and a finer one to properly finish it. In order to use it, I'm soaking that stone in water first for a few minutes or until no bubbles come out of it. Then I'm securing it on the table with kitchen paper. To sharpen the chef knife, just imagine you have to cut slices out of that stone at a 15 degrees angle. 15 degrees angle what? I know it's not super easy to get the angle right. So here's how I cheat on this every time. If you lay the blade flat, this is zero degree. If you hold it vertically, this is 90 degrees. Between those is 45 degrees. Between those, 22.5 degrees. And between those, about 11 degree-ish. So just a touch more than that will be 15 degrees. Ah, don't worry, it works perfectly. Each side gets three passes, then two passes, then one, done. Studio update about cookbooks. I have a few Japanese cookbooks, but the one I use the most is not the most common. Let me give you a quick look. And this is the most useful Japanese cookbook ever. It's called Oishimbo and it's a manga story. I've got six of them and every one is about a specific theme. Like this one is about rice, vegetables, sake. This one is about fish, sushi and sashimi. This one is about izakaya which is the local Japanese pub. And this one is about ramen and gyoza. Ramen being uh, the Japanese soup and gyoza being some Japanese dumpling. So the reason why I like those books so much is that it's about learning, of course, but in a funny way, in a very casual way, you know, grabbing every bit, learning every tricks, uh, like remembering every recipe. It's great to learn. And of the... <laughs> oh, putain, I should work on my abs. End of this studio update. A violent solution. So a whetstone is great, however, it's hard to be consistent and to keep the angle and to keep the stone flat as well. So that is why I am using an electric file instead. I've got powerful problems. First off, switch any rough sanding belt for a finer one. This one is a smooth 320 grit. Then I'm running it on the slowest speed. Again, just imagine you're cutting out slices of that belt at a 15 degrees angle. Each side get three, two, one passes. Done. Although I would not do this on an expensive blade, I find that this works perfectly for me. And my chef knife is definitely way sharper now. As much as I like cutting paper, you know, uh, let's cook a few veggies and cut them into slices. 
the chef knife is now complete with a new edge, a new style, a new handle, and of course, a new shape. You know, it's not only about showing off. Indeed, it's a bit about showing off, but mostly it's about creating a bound between a random tool and a person. And now it's not a random tool anymore. It's my little buddy and he's ready to go with me in all my adventures. And now, people, this is your turn. I want to see your creations, your work, your tattoo, your, your sharpening style, your, your new handles. Just post them online on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Just tag me in French Guy Cooking most of the time. And also add the hashtag, spread it like butter. I will showcase the best one. So I really hope you enjoy the whole series and this project as much as I did, I mean. And if you did, give it a like, thumbs up and share that over your social media using the hashtag spread it like butter. This is my favorite hashtag ever. Guys, subscribe to the channel, of course, because I make new videos on Sunday and it's mostly about getting the posh out of cooking in general, but also uh, making obsessive series about things in the kitchen, like for example, pizza or bread or tartine open face sandwiches. If you want to see something completely different than this uh, knife adventures, then you can check out this uh, video where I made four different twists out of brioche bread dough. Take care guys, it's been a pleasure. Bye bye, salut.